Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture from March the 16th of 2021. Well, it is titled IC 1318 the butterfly nebula in gas and dust. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as the butterfly nebula. And what we see the darker region is the central portion of the butterfly. And then the wings would be the glowing gases stretched out. And what we see here is looking at them in three colors, sometimes known as the Hubble palette. And that is looking at the emission of three specific atoms. And it's sulfur in the red color hydrogen in green and oxygen in blue. So instead of seeing just mainly hydrogen emission, which is what we would see in true color, it allows us to look at some more details within the nebula here and to see it with these three looking at these three different elements. Now when we look at it, one of the things that we notice are a lot of very dark, dense, dusty knots. And those are areas where stars would currently be forming. So at the tip of each of those is really a, a star. And in fact, what we call a protostar, so a star in the process of formation. And if we could come back in a little bit, 100,000 years or a couple hundred thousand years at least, we would be able to see new stars that have formed here and other areas which have begun to condense. So star formation is not an instantaneous process. It takes quite a while and it will spread through the nebula, taking its time as it works through that through it. So it could take many millions or even tens of millions of years for star formation to work through one end of a dust cloud to another as stars continually form. Now what actually gives us the brightness the glowing that we see here of these gases are some of those first stars to form which are very hot stars and emit a lot of ultraviolet radiation. That ultraviolet radiation is what is good at exciting the atoms that we look at in this case sulfur hydrogen and oxygen and causing them to glow. So it takes the energy energy of that star for us to be able to see the nebula at all. Otherwise, the gases would just be nice and clear and invisible to us and we would not be able to see uh, the gases. Now we can also look at this in the infrared portion of the spectrum, which allows us to look into the dust. And we use infrared as one of the ways of being able to study star formation because we can get a peek into the stellar nurseries, which are obscured here, but in, visible, but in infrared light, we can actually look through and get a better idea of the star formation going on. So that was our picture of the day for March the 16th of 2021. It was titled IC 1318 the butterfly nebula in gas and dust. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Aurora Jupiter. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.